Hey everyone, Nicola Light here, remembering Into Our Light. I have the no other than Robert Van Kooten. And for many, many of you years ago would have followed me and Robert on a Friday at four o'clock. And if you're new to my channel, then have a little look back on all of those videos because there was an awful lot of fun and laughter in those moments. Wasn't that Robert? Yeah, it was that? lovely. It was yeah. lovely. It was like... Uh... In, in when I was working in office, they had the Friday uh, afternoon um, drink, and this was like without alcohol, but more fun, and just having uh, very interesting conversations and yeah. very lightly in, in two manners, like lightly and not heavy, and also lightly with a lot of light. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, definitely. I love it. Yeah, 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 it was so, so, so good. So if you're if you if you're new or if you haven't watched those conversations, they were so, so funny. Socks off, space set, fairies, and all that beautiful <laughs> stuff that went on there. Um, you've been on a massive, massive journey, Robert, um, with your beautiful um, soul partner, however you want to call her, that, your labels and all of that. And you find I find yourself in Spain now. Yeah, in Galicia, that's northern Spain. That's uh, uh, the province above Portugal, mm. and it's one of the greenest parts of, I think, uh, the southern part of Europe. It's very, mm. it, it, we got a lot of sun, but it's also a lot of rain that makes it green. So uh, and we, we were at a journey by just jumping into a window of opportunity and then landed here by fate, coincidence, whatever you call it, the universe, mm. guidance. And uh, it's from that moment on it's the, the we are in the flow of the universe we are it offers the opportunity to really connect to the heart to get into the heart and to check in every moment of the now uh, that the, now i got a low battery <laughs> you want to put your battery on then yes I, please i'll pause it just a second <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, I probably it is. It is. The button. <laughs> so oh, it's gosh. That's almost so the energy of the Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that the universe sort of brings us back together again in that it's like it's, we're so powerful together that it's just like you just you know, this is like you go in and out of this conversation. Like, yeah, this is like sparks all over <laughs> yeah. the universe. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. And I remember See, when Mm. Sorry, I remember that you once mentioned that um, we we were in the beginning like a little bit talking about mm, not so many viewers, and then the universe was telling us that hey, not many viewers. Look around; it's like there, there's a yeah, big there's there. <laughs> universe full of viewers. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So your main thing that um, I want to sort of share with people from your perspective is about your connection with heart. Do you want to mm -hmm. sort of talk about that? Because I think for many people that maybe have just sort of found me or, you know, sort of um, and just sort of aligning to, to yourself is that your main focus is heart, isn't it? What, what, would, what would you want to sort of say about that? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> let's let's move to another moment is that okay for you and then i will have a spare wi-fi okay which okay. i can use then as well but this is let's the, the do that because he's just <laughs> Oh, we could try again because this is quite funny. <laughs> you can use it as a trailer. <laughs> yeah, you can use it as a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing it back. I do feel that we could continue. Let's try. Let's to try. No, just to let you know, all viewers here, but, but, but this is the second take. And um, <laughs> it feels like it just needs to bring this sort of like this silliness back online from me and Robert to come back together because it was very much. <laughs> <laughs> this before so mm, freeze <laughs> <laughs> like fogging <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. heart 
let's let's continue because I I think that's quite funny to be honest with you. I don't want to stop here now. Let's get back. Let's let's battle back. To, let's it's like bat it back to the universe. Go like no, we want to talk about heart. Thank you very much. Stop stopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, if there's a yeah. good reason that, that and they will. Yeah. Not. Um, <laughs> for for us, like like a maybe a, a say it again. You brought us to, uh, in a relationship without any contracts from other lives. Mm. From, and the message was uh, very open and deep communication. Mm. We translated that as being connected to the heart, both of us, and express everything which is moving in the field around us. And the connection of the heart was like, uh, explicitly with the hand on the heart and Patricia and I when we talk and we are uh, talking about any details we all both put our hand on the heart so we have this connection so that the mind is shut up off and the heart is the the only filter uh, mm. there and then plus that is what we learned is that if you are connected to your heart you will get information and that is very a good idea could be to listen to that information and put that into action. Um, by doing that, our experience is that this, that this is fabulous. It's like paradise mm -hmm. on earth. It's, it's already there. You will live the life you are supposed to live. Get the experiences which are not always beautiful and nice and celebrating, but you can move quickly through them. And the heart will con constantly help you to, uh, I, as I say it, in, uh, it's like the dance of life. Mm. It's like a, a, a ballroom dance, is, I mm -hmm. think it's the English word. Mm -hmm. And you see just people in a beautiful room and there are some pillars and other uh, pairs dancing. Nobody is bumping into each other. There's no reason yeah. to, that you just move around. And that's yeah. the way we... Um, start living our living our life in a daily manner in the now moment not the past not the future only the now mm -mm. so we are um, helping each other supporting each other continuously to be in that now moment and be connected to the heart mm. Mm. yeah i remember the um the conversation during that particular session that that that, that you were speaking about and it was pivotal absolutely pivotal within my own understanding and um of, of conscious communication now i must say from a nicola point of view from head is that i find it sometimes difficult to consciously communicate when it's coming from a mind perspective because i don't tend to say anything i hold back I yeah. don't, i'm like i'm not gonna say anything <laughs> but if if you settle into the heart it's absolutely right and and i love what you're saying is that is that if we're in relationships no matter how whatever relationships it is if we place our hands on a heart it literally directs and drops the mind into there so i'm i'm going to consciously use that and yeah. thank you for the reminder of it and for many people that are listening consciously communicate if you find it hard to speak then drop down here and then express yeah and mm. thank you for for um appreciating that Mm. My joke is always to use duct tape and to <laughs> stick your hand on the heart because <laughs> you always <laughs> start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you can break your arm and have a Mitella, or you call it in English. <laughs> but the duct tape is maybe cheaper and easier. Um, but it's, it's, it's like we are so used to speak like Italians and do everything with our hands not on mm. the heart. It doesn't really matter. Some people believe that the heart is on a certain place. It's a big heart, so you don't have to worry mm. about it. It's one hand, two hands. Sometimes it's not possible, so you don't do it when you're driving or something like that. <laughs> but it's the best tool there is. And we got, most of us got two hands, so we can always put one hand there. Mm. It's not only, in my belief system, it's not only connect, disconnecting the programmed and polluted mind, but it's also directly connecting us to the source our mm. slash source we are source we are all source so it's the only the mind has learned that it was not as powerful or not as good but 
with this, we are directly dead. And that's not the ego part, but it's like the heart part. Mm -hmm. uh, many famous people on alternative ways, like um, Eckhart Tolle, we've been reading about him. And uh, after many, many years, he already wrote his books. And then he's, he's doing, he's writing almost uh, similar, same things as we are practicing which is beautiful to hear that somebody else uh, is doing that. Mm -hmm. But also uh, Bruce Lipton, uh, Breck, uh, Greg Braden, mm -hmm. people like that from Gaia, they have scientific proof that there are many ways that uh, the, the cells are working together. But basically, you only have to put your hand on your heart. And especially, especially in this beautiful example you gave, Nicola, especially when you feel and you know, and you're clear knowing, I'm holding back now. It's mm. as much more interesting to put your hand on the heart, maybe not at that moment, but to can, a few minutes later, you can put your hand on your heart. Was this the right thing for this, for my heart, for doing this? And you will understand. And then you can always go back and say, mm, I've maybe not second thoughts, but I, I've rethought about it, and yeah. this is what I really it's, feel it's, at the moment. <clears throat> it's de deciphering, is it ego that you're getting in your mind, or is it high connection? And sometimes, the, you know, the questions that I get sometimes is like, and my own quick question is, is that is that ego that's speaking here? And if you get this emotional response on top of it, then it's obviously ego, but bringing that in, that sort of physical connection to the heart, then almost sort of like stops even the question because you automatically know that there's a process that you can trust, isn't there? Yes, I, I believe so. And you can always um, practice it with little issues or things or items. I always gave the example, if you go to a, a, a shop to buy, a grocery shop to buy an apple, you have the green ones and the red ones, and you can pick one and then ask with your hand on your heart, is this the right one? And <laughs> probably, it doesn't really matter if it's red or green, but it's like just the exercise of using your heart to mm. decide this is the good one for you, or this is maybe no apple, whatever. It's not mm. the answer which is important, it's the action you take on it. And the action is the most important thing, because if you got information in my belief system, use it yeah because yeah it's, yeah it's, it's the source it's your higher self it's all these beautiful beings of helping you your team they're telling you do this left and go for you, the red go for the red yeah. and then you think oh, I, I will i will judge myself i take the green yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> get a little maggot in it or something you need to yeah put your yeah, it's, the red. <laughs> and it's and it's like it's like it's a lot of people we meet are asking for it I would love to have the signs and signals from the universe. It's already there. It's the already only thing. there. And so. Mm. That I always say as well is like, if there's a question within you, you already know the answer. If you mm. seek it outside of yourself, then actually it's outside of yourself. But as soon as you ask yourself the, the question to get the answer, the answer's in the heart, isn't it? I yeah, I completely agree. It's even, it's even, more dramatic. The outer world is a creation of the mind and we are, we are restoring it by connecting to the heart and then we are recreating the real as meant to be outer world. Mm -mm, mm. That's, that's how I feel it. It's like mm. the, this, this connection is need not disconnection but disconnection is uh, so powerful and it brings everything what we are looking for and we've been taught to look outward it all goes back inside it goes all goes back inside all yeah. goes back inside yeah. but i must say one thing that is outside of you as i'm looking at you is that beautiful backdrop <laughs> yeah I that is it. so wonderful tell, yeah. tell me about that it's um art soldier 77 i think uh, oh, yeah. by art. She's a New York artist. And let me see if I can 
move the camera a bit. Oh, yeah. It's a. I see she's um, on Instagram, isn't she? She's on Instagram. She's on uh, Facebook. She's she's making beautiful art. Oh, and when so the cute. first time uh, we saw her, <clears throat> she um, we saw that was Patricia and I work with light language like you are working with mm. in a different in our way, mm. uh, but with light language and the way of um, how energy moves when you are healing or working with codes or frequencies she was drawing it like that so i contacted her and had permission to use her uh, art in whatever way uh, so yes thank you for asking and thank you oh for... it's stunning it's absolutely stunning and there are so many sort of symbolic sort of um sort of shapes and colors and and shifters as, as well as the light codes within the that yes. sort of esoteric oh it's so beautiful it's really it's really stunning it really is amazing it is amazing so with your healing um, modality and um, working with um, Patricia, um, did you want to sort of talk about that, Robert? Because that you've been you, you've been doing much, much more work on yourself, but there's also um, relative to 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 helping others as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's being of service to mankind. Uh, mm. And and um, what we're doing, we of course we moved. <clears throat> from the Netherlands to Spain and we don't we didn't speak Spanish and we came into a province they speak a language which is different it's like a mix of Portuguese and Spanish so Gallego so we came here and we didn't understand much which helped us to get more into the energy work um, so now we're moving into networks of people of uh, therapists uh, uh, healing gatherings markets of no money and things like that so we are moving in mm -hmm. um, also the after a lot of process of internally for patricia and for me myself we are at this moment really opening up to help people also on the internet again mm. so the the universe is already bringing the, uh, the opportunities which were waiting for us so yeah what what are we doing uh, we work either together so then you have the masculine and the feminine energy of patricia uh, which is i translate it like i'm more like a laser beam direct and mm -hmm. not as soft and patricia is really like more gentle soft and um, and this combination is like there's no way out. So I know. Something... I've had a session with you and Patricia <laughs> before. No. You, you can't hide. And it's it's yeah. okay if you want to hide. But okay. it's sometimes it's like uh, programs in your system or in your field are making you hiding without you mm -hmm. knowing it or being aware of it. And there's no way for doing that. It's, I, if, if you're aware of it, it's okay. But if mm -hmm. you're not aware, we will find it for you. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, that's so that's like uh, the duo session as we call it or you can prefer sometimes there are topics women prefer not to talk with me about and men are the other way around so then you can choose to have one of us but the main thing I was talking with you is before this, uh, this, this our talk and the main thing is that we changed from wanting to help somebody to see if somebody needs something to be happy in this now moment. So if somebody's happy in the now moment with all strange things, whatever we can think about, it's okay if the person is happy because happiness is the most valuable, uh, appreciated thing we can have in this now moment. Mm. So, because when you are happy, you will be uh, appreciation will be there. You will it's it's all of the goodies easy which, isn't it it's easy when you're in that higher like uh, yeah and yeah. For, for instance if you fall in love all this happiness sparkles will be activated in your system and then you only see these beautiful things mm. and the happiness will bring happy health they will bring happy connections they will easily divide the negativism away from you and bring the positive energies the non-toxic information mm -hmm. towards you so it's like it's all about being happy and of course 
like yesterday we were doing sessions with people and the first question is what, what do you, is there anything you want to focus on no and it's easy because then then the universe will bring information and then you will get maybe the maximum of all information directed to you but mm. it's it's, it's uh, mostly it's like if there's something which is not flowing in your life we can help you mm -hmm. and like mm. There are millions of, of people working with energy and your higher self will find the right place to be for that moment and mm. trust. Yeah. 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 And it's really lovely to see the evolution of your journey of your understanding what it is that you do. And, you know, if anyone out is out there that that has started on their journey of their healing modality is that sometimes it, it does take that little bit of understanding and time, linear time to discover what it is that you do, because, you know, when we first start off, it's not necessarily how we end up being. So it's that patience, that journey of, you know, you working with Patricia or individually is understanding what it is that you do with your light language, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And understanding my light language is, it's more like trusting because mm -hmm. um, like if I compare it to your light language it's more you have more like a language in my opinion mm -hmm. uh, because I'm multi-dilingual it's like every I can trans create any dialect from the universe which is connected to that person mm -hmm. like instant and um, and I completely trust whatever comes through me uh, I don't understand that always. Sometimes I can yeah. create. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I can create. I can say, oh, now we're going to focus on this part and that part and this item. And then mm -hmm. it comes. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. often I, I really don't know or want to know what mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, because it, it, yeah. it sort of tends to sort of block the system as well. If we ask all these questions, then the mind gets involved. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So hand on heart then allows the body and the ego to settle into it to allow the transference of code. And then that then eases and tr brings you into trust, doesn't it? That, yeah, I love that. Plus what we learned is some way we have to find um, ways or manners that people uh, feel safe to receive. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and that's some in the beginning, because I'm like a, a radical healer, so I can really bombard somebody with information. And it, I know it's working, but if there's some system program or elements which are not open to receive, mm. it does, they don't receive it. It doesn't get into them. Maybe in a later phase, but not at this moment. Yeah, uh, so it's it's like finding that that balance that somebody's like, OK, I trust you. I, I, I believe what is coming. Belief is very strong in that. Yeah. And then, then you create um, the leveling, which opens the uh, the gateway, the tube for all information, which is possible at and, and right at that moment to come. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. It's, it's, it is that receiving part, isn't it? It's that. If I did a say a light language transmission and somebody would go, like, oh my God, that's affected me in so many ways. And then another person would come in and go, like, I really didn't get anything. But it is a, a lot of it is to do with the mind about whether you're consciously getting it or whether you're actually getting it, getting it by the receiving mode. Yeah. So yeah. So your intentions are I, I love I love the way that you work with your intention setting because your intention setting is really very strong. And that's really important also when we bring in our codes. Shall I give an example? I was just about to say, <laughs> let's bring in some codes, Robert. What do you want okay. to bring in then? Um, let me express first. If you are open to receive codes, it helps to have your hand on the heart, to put yeah. your feet next to each other, not crossed, because that's blocking energy. And some people believe that or not, but I believe it. So maybe it's handy mm. to do that. It helps to close your eyes. Mm. The first codes I will create is, or will, will get through me, is to help you to be open to receive the right information which is meant for you. And it goes like this. This is deeply working in the heart area. And opening the heart. 
wider and wider for the right information for you, so that the trust will be activated. And we eliminate programs which are attached to the mind and disconnecting the heart. And bring in trust, trust from the source, source light. Mm. Yeah, to turn on my television, Mark. Yeah, thank you. That was that was that was very interesting from my perspective on that, and and please let us know in the comments um, your perspective within it. I felt that in the body, it was like my body was a little bit tense, and as soon as the coast came in, the body sort of dropped away from the back heart. So there was a lot of subconscious um, activation in there. And we can sort of feel that transference of code into the body. So mm -hmm. where the codes really come in the body, connected to mind, that was really interesting, that perspective. So from my mind of how I'm sort of interacting with those codes that you just brought forward, it was very subconscious, back heart mm -hmm. energy. Yeah. Mm. We, we see it as um, Patricia can see timelines and can see communicate with higher selves. I'm not into that. I'm not that I'm not into that, but it's not my yeah. thing. Yeah. And uh, so we can um, distinguish that it's like there's a lot of dust around us. Mm. And some are programs, some are some just elements of old programs, which is blurring the field. And what we are doing is creating like a Swiffer uh, advertising, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> dusting. <laughs> the, the, dusting away the, the, that, like cleaning that area. Mm -hmm. So that the connections which are already established and there for you are a, like a free way to get there and to communicate with you. So yeah. it's, it's all, all bringing, and it's, and it's beautiful how you sensed how it works. Because it's like getting into all these layers, into the body, into the organs mm -mm. when needed mm. and helping to clear all this rubbish, dust. Away. Junk in your trunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, and th th this is only a, like an example for, um, and hopefully for uh, notice, notable for you uh, and, and the people who are watching to open up and to open for your own trust because trust is, mm. is, is everything and if yeah. you're like if you want something and you really feel it like it's already manifesting so it's like all these little blockages which are eons of ages and uh, and lives created before take them away and open yeah. up for the right thing beautiful. for you beautiful beautiful robert thank you so so much for coming on and and um presenting a little bit of an update and I'm sure that we gather and we get Patricia on as well to um, sort of bring maybe some more codes in and create a little bit of playlist. So um, so I thank you so, so much for spending time with me today. And um, it was really sort of quite fun to sort of have that little glitch in the beginning <laughs> and to sort of like to the universe. Of, and it's run really nice, nice and smoothly now, isn't it? Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. And it's so lovely to talk to you again. It really gives uh, us the feeling of the Friday afternoon. And uh, yeah. And I know Patricia would love to join and maybe you would like, to, but we will talk after, have Patricia separate or together, whatever. Yeah, is definitely, for you. definitely, definitely. It's so wonderful to sort of see all these different modalities coming in, the different understandings of it and the expression coming in for different ways how how is it that people can connect with you then robert if they really resonate with and so like i need to talk to robert how can yeah. they contact you of course you can email me with robert.vankoten at outlook.com but inner source galicia you can read it in the in in, in yeah, the just on the side there, yeah it's, it's also a website we have uh it's a web page more like that Mm. Uh, we're also on Facebook with Inner Source Galicia. Uh, yeah. If you really can't find it, you can connect to to, to Nicola and she can yeah. help. Out if, if, and um, yeah, and the, the, for us, we are specialized in trauma and things like that. But you don't have to relive it. It's just like 
be happy in the yeah. now moment and and we open for the the change and what we see uh, as the last word because i can talk more about it is that people uh, it's okay to ask some help sometimes i do it i asked nicola uh, sometimes we exchange and it's it's, yeah. it's very helpful it's very helpful oh to... absolutely because it's like i you know we we might be blinkered from one particular angle because we can only see that far we can yeah. only see this and there are some things that maybe robert sees here or somebody else sees here so we must be open um you know to that to that perspective is sometimes somebody sees something within us that we don't see and then that's that's but that's the that's the joy of union isn't it i think so yeah yeah, yeah. i believe so yeah mm -hmm. so from me and robert Thank um you so much. Yeah, comment below. Um, let's know how those codes affected you. Um, Robert's codes are so profound. They are like, they actually feel like laser beams when they come in. So I do hope that those codes serve you well. And thank you all so much for joining us. If you want to have a look at Robert's um, YouTube, he's got a, a, a channel which I've linked below on the description. So if you go through my page, and so subscribe to those and I'm sure Robert will bring, bring you some more information on there or check out his website as well. Or if you want to work with me, indeed, it's nicolalight.com. So thank you so much and we'll see you all very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.